So yeah, welcome. Um, for those that come from the Google Summer of Code presentation, so what we are going to see today is basically how to contribute to a project. I think that's the, the hardest part of getting to Google Summer of Code. Uh, the second hardest part will be like creating the project and you know contacting the mentors and things like that. But the first, making your first contribution, is really the hardest part. Still, I think if you have someone that helps you, like now what we are going, going to do today, is much easier. So yeah, today the goal for today is to make your first contribution. That's it. Okay. So we are going to do it for NOM, which is this organization I already explained on the Wisdom of Code presentation. Uh, so we have libraries, we have applications, different projects, and we have these guidelines, this wiki page, where we explain uh, all the steps that you need until your first contribution. Everything is really uh, well explained there, so initially you wouldn't need much help, but of course you will have some uh, questions and problems and uh, people are there to help. Not only me and Ernesta and Felipe and Giri, but also in IRC, they are the mentors of each project and they can help you with any technical questions, okay? Cool, so yeah, that's the goal. Uh, go to this website, is everyone there? Cool, so we start here and basically what we say is that there are four steps. Uh, one is to choose a project, the other one is to build the project, the next one is to actually pick a task and fix it, and the fourth one is to submit the, the fix that you did. Uh, as I said in the presentation, uh, there in beauty, it doesn't really require much. So even if you are on your first year, year of university, it's fine. There are tasks for everyone, okay? The hardest part will be to understand uh, the UI of themes, you know, uh, where the code is, but the actual tasks can be quite easy for you. So yeah, let's do it. Let's click here. And here we link to our chat room. You can click here. It will open on Matrix, Riot, which is a kind of a portal to IOC, but is usually better. And it goes to this channel called No Newcomers. And here you can ask any question that you might have once we finish the workshop or something like that, okay? So for example, click there and just say hi. Does it open for you, the channel, or? Hmm. Does it work for you, or? Uh, we just need to register. Ah, you need to register. I forgot. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, take your time. Feel free to register. Call room LS is typing. I guess that's one of you. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> this is you? Yeah. <laughs> so, was the skip night, the server, or? Uh, I yeah. see that you know that, like, yeah. you give maps the same there, because domains pointing to the same server. I am directly a metric, so it's not a metric service. No, it's not. It's a, it's an IRC. It's yeah, it's an IRC. Yeah. It's in the bricks. So you yeah. have to that column in the right. Is that a, it's an I IRC. So, yeah, so an IRC. under the under the hood, it's IRC. On top of that, there's matrix. And can I connect the through hex chat or? Yeah. I I use uh, 
Excel or something like that. I don't use and matrix. The free node? No, it's irc.num.org. Okay. Uh, and the channel is newcomers. Yeah. Cool. One, two, three, four people. One, two, three, four. There is two left. But yeah, so here, uh, once we finish the workshop, you can go here, ask me. Uh, there I'm Carlos Soriano. So you can just uh, do something like this. Tap. What? Anyway, you can, you can put like Carlos Soriano, take, and it will pin me, okay? And then I will answer there any question that you have, okay? There are other people there that can help, so uh, yeah, don't worry about that. Cool, so once we have that, let's move to the next step. Uh, yeah, we say we use IRC, but this Riot and Matrix is on top of it, and it helps because you can be connected all the time. And yeah, it's for free, so I think it's, it's quite good for us. We put here some guidelines. Uh, this is pretty common in every free software project, okay? And all organizations, you have some guidelines to behave and what is expected, not only for you, but so you feel safe because you know what is expected from other people to behave towards you. So yeah, basically, uh, Bastions, be respectful, and take the initiative and be self driver. And this is uh, the same message I try to do on the presentation, which is being proactive. So it's one of the three keys uh, to be successful in a free software project, okay? We have a code of conduct here, you can read uh, later on. And let's go to the next one. Choose a project. Now we really start. So here you have a list of projects that we recommend because uh, they have mentors. They can help you with anything you need. And usually the complexity of those projects are not so hard as others. So we have Polary. It's an IRC client. The complexity is quite simple. And it has two mentors. And it's written in JavaScript. Who is used to JavaScript here? Can you raise your hand? You, a little bit? Perfect. I don't like it either, so. <laughs> um, we have games, which is a game emulator. I think that's uh, quite nice. So you can have retro games like Pokemon or Zelda or things like that. And you can play on the computer. Uh, I mean, for me, it's the application I like most uh, to contribute because of this. And it's writing in Bala. Bala is a programming language similar to C Sharp. Right? Yeah. Right. C -sharp. Similar to C sharp. Yes. If you know Java, you know Or like Java, Java. Yeah. similar to Java. Object oriented, without pointers. Yeah. And it's made by Norm. So we maintain that, that programming language. Uh, yeah, as a mentor, Alexander. As I say, the, uh, it's an application I really like uh, because of what is it, right? You can you can see here some screenshots. Ah, uh, that's the thing. You can you can click on the projects, you will do it uh, now when I leave you some time for choosing your project. And you can see screenshots for each project and how to get the games. And yeah, basically, basically that's it. You have maps as well, it's uh, like Google Maps but for the desktop. And it uses OpenStreetMap if you know it. And it's written in JavaScript. Music, which is a music player, uh, written in Python. Who knows Python? Yeah, that's good. So writing Python. Now Tilus, the file manag manager, that's writing in C, and I'm the mentor. Uh, well, you can see here the project complexity. Usually it's simple, medium, now Tilus is complex. But it's complex in a way that I think, I don't know, what do you think, Ernest? Ernestas is the other maintainer. I'm, I'm one of the maintainers of Nautilus, Ernestas is the other. In what way it's complex? Huh? Yeah. You're asking in, in what way it's complex, right? Yeah, you think Atenos is slightly complex, right? Mm -hmm. But I would say it, not in the algorithms, but rather in the how the code is uh, organized yeah. and 
there's a lot of legacy code because it's a project that was created on 1999, so 20 years ago. So you can imagine that there is a lot of legacy code, and I mean that that's the reality of projects. So that is good to know as well. There is also sound recorder. is quite simple and is a pretty good application for your first contribution because it's just sound recorder and, and that's it. The UI is pretty simple. Photos, which is uh, ah, and sound recorder is written in JavaScript. Photos, which is written in C and is a photo collection, similar to in the Android, you have the, the photos application. And then boxes, which is a virtualization uh, project, so you can have your virtual machines in a very easy way. If you are used to virtual box or something like that, well, for those for me are crap compared to non boxes because non boxes is really easy to to, to use. And the maintainer is here, uh, Felipe Borges. Uh, the project complexity is complex, but still I think you can contribute just to the UI, for example, and that's going to be uh, easy for you. Now, what are the tips for what project do I choose? So, as, well, you have the programming languages there, so if you are used to some programming language, you can choose by that. I usually don't, or when I started contributing, I didn't choose by programming language. I choose rather just because I like the project. And I think that's the main driver for you. Uh, if you like the project, you won't care about the programming language. You will contribute because you like, and then the internship of course, some of code is gonna be, you know, very smooth for you because you like the project. And since you have to be self-driver and proactive, for me, I think the most important part is to be, you know, uh, to like the project and, and the vision of the project. So that's my tip, but really, Choose whatever you want because this is going to be just one contribution and then you can take your time later to choose any other project. Uh, if you use an application yourself, then that's probably also a main driver because uh, you can improve something that you use every day and that's something that is quite nice as well. Now what you can do is just install those applications, try them out and then choose one that you like. Okay. So yeah, let's do that now. Let's give us 10 minutes. You can ask me any questions or anything until you choose a project that you like, okay? Any questions so far? No? Cool. In non there are more projects. We have 450 projects. There is, there is a lot of them. As I said, I put here just the, the easiest one, and those are all applications. There are libraries, there are a lot of different things, okay? But for today, we will just do applications because it's more visual and easy for you. Okay, so let's move uh, to the next step, which is building that whole project and see how it looks like. So click here. And here, what we use to build the project is a technology called Flatpak. Flatpak, uh, do you know containers? The world, at least, containers. So it's kind of like a virtual machine, but very light, okay? And it's used by a lot of technologies nowadays, like even Red Hat. Uh, is the, the main technology that we use now. Docker? Yeah, Docker is a container technology. Yeah. 
So Flatpak is kind of similar to that, but is used for, for desktop applications. So the benefits of that is similar to the ones we have in Android. Applications are sandboxed, they don't depend on the host system, they don't depend on the actual system that is running on, on the computer, they just depend on some kind of runtime that they have uh, for the application. So what does allow allows is that you can build the application in any system that you have. You have Ubuntu, you have Fedora, whatever, you can build the application with no problems, okay? So in now we use Flatpak for that, uh, for building the applications, and for helping Building them and, and contributing, we use uh, IDE called Builder, okay? Non-Builder. You will see how it is later on. So here we go through this, and the first step is to get Flatpak. So now we can go here to the Flatpak setup and make sure that you have it installed on your system. So for example, once you go here, you choose your distro. It works. Uh, so, uh, let me see if I, did I, Nautilus is gone, no, let me delete Nautilus locally so you see how it works for me. Uh, so once you have Builder installed and you click it, it will open and it will open this page, it says open a project. Uh, what you want to do is to clone a project from uh, the GitLab uh, repository that we have for now. Here in the, to in the bottom you have suggested known projects, so you can actually go there and see. So for example, Nautilus, uh, I click here, this is field, clone project, now I will download Nautilus, it will take some time, Nautilus is like 120 megabytes, so it's one of the biggest projects. Uh, from this uh, that we have. The first time there is a lot of downloads. After that, everything is ready. Because uh, the, you, you have, once you have the SDK installed and everything, you don't need to load that again anymore. And the same for the Git repository. Uh, it's 110 the first time, but then for every change, it's just the difference between one change and the other, so it's pretty small. Um, it looks uh, really perfect. Um, in the uh, quick search, I can find this program. Uh, well, uh, I can try to run it by command line, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, that everything goes well. You mean builder? Or? Well, this is builder. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, uh, so I tried it and um, well, there is some uh, wrong uh, GPG signature. Not found. Did you try to install on the yeah, okay, now it looks okay. Good. If it doesn't work, try to do it on the command line. Oh my god, this is this Wi-Fi is so slow for me. Let me try a uh, um, smaller project now to uh, music is quite small. Let me try music. Uh, you can you can try a drone. Uh, I access. I don't have. <laughs> Yeah. I, think I can share. Yes. I, I mean, but then for you it's gonna be a slower, right? Because then we will share. I, don't know. Yeah. I think it's fine. I mean, is yeah. I think it's fine. Don't worry. Thank you. But let's see if it works. And if not, then we will try. And <laughs> wrong. And wrong. Wow. Nice. So for you it's completed already. They don't load and everything? Okay. <laughs> and I'm loading a new image because the old one, the old kernel is not there. I cannot update it because right. it crashes, so I have to install new. Okay. Yeah, so let's see. Let, let's see how music uh, works here. Now, even the, the thing that you have, all of you have now here is that you have to download one thing and then it will work. And when I started contributing uh, five years ago, 
we had to load almost the whole operating system, and it was like uh, eight gigabytes. And you have to build all of that. Every you have to build every project just to buy new project. So yeah, that was insane. But yeah, nowadays it's just around one gigabyte, something like that, which is the runtime and the SDK, and then uh, yeah, that's it. And then the, the application itself. Yeah, no, it should work. So for example, Nautilus. Uh, so once it downloads the project, here on the bottom you will see that is uh, downloading other stuff, which is the dependencies of Nautilus that is inside the container, inside Flatpak, so that should work fine. Then you will just have to be here play. So now here on the bottom is building Nautilus. So it's compiling every one of the files. It has 169 files, C files. Some warnings that I guess I have to fix. Here it is, uh, for example, in the case of Nautilus, how, is, how does Nautilus work uh, looks like for the developers, okay? You will have the same for pipe, for music, or for whatever. So for example, once you have this, you could even play to change some uh, strings, some text, to see that it really works. It really, you can really change the application already and see the results. So for example, here we have this edit. So let's change that. If I remember what it is, you. So, for example, here in edit, I change it for hello world. I save. And I click stop and I click play. Now it's going to build Nautilus again. Here. Now it's built. And when I click here, it says hello world. Okay? So more or less, once you have everything downloaded, you can really change anything that you want in the application and you will actually make that change already. Okay, so yes, you can see the results. So that's the first goal that you should have now, which is just building your application and make some change. So you can see that you actually can, can do some changes to the application and see the results. Does anyone started to download or build application already? No, still installing builder. Yeah, it's taking a little bit. Yeah, it's taking long. I want to make a bit for a second. So, yeah, it's okay. Wow. That's going to take a while. Uh, don't worry, you, you already saw how it is um, for building the application. So, while it's downloading, which is the important part, uh, we can continue to. Let's assume this has worked. Uh, here you have, you know how to do it, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the next one while it's downloading, which is find some tax, uh, task to do and fix something. So let's click here. And here is the biggest part of the, of, uh, of the session, which is what you need to modify, find the task, uh, get to use, get used to the UI. Uh, this is pretty common for every software organization. They have some issue tracker. Do you know what is an issue tracker? Something like GitHub. Do you know GitHub? 
So in GitHub, you have like issues, make requests, pull requests, uh, the code. So for example, issues is where people put the tasks and the priority of them and all of that. So you will see that here is the same. Uh, once you get used to this, you can get used to any other project. Most of the projects, free software projects are using GitHub. So uh, you will see that once you get used to this one, you will get used to GitHub as well. Now, so we have plenty of documentation. You can look here. We have, for example, how to search for the, um, the API of the theme signal. You can click here yourself once you, you find a task to, to fix. And you can search here, for example, uh, how to create a button. So you have a button here, and then it says how to create it, in this case in C++. But you can see uh, the same for, for C or Python or whatever. Um, then in each of those applications, you will have some resources as well, some guides for how to fix things in the applications themselves. And then, as I said before, you can ask uh, in the newcomers channels or in the GTK channel or anything. Now, let's go to pick, pick a task. So click here in the project that you have chosen. So for example, let's choose music, which is what almost everyone has chosen. And here you see a list of issues. As I said before, this is going to be the same also for projects in GitHub and other organizations, OK? Uh, there are plenty of them, so that's good. And they are basically these filters by newcomers. So those are tasks uh, useful for newcomers. So for example, just to see an example. This is pretty easy. Sorry? This one is good. This one? Yeah, it's pretty easy. It says, in notifications, need to be dismissable. It explains a little bit uh, how it goes now. Uh, music notifications are display on the main view. You will have to get used to the wording a little bit, but uh, once you try to reproduce the issue, which is the first step, uh, you will see how it works. Uh, once you read this, basically you will have to, as I said, reproduce the issue, see that you can actually you know, see the, the issue by yourself. And then you will have to search for where the issue is, where the code to fix the issue is. What we usually do is try to search for text. Like, for example, the issue here says... Notification. Yeah, for example, notification. So I will search on the project for the word notification. And then I will see, for example, if I do that in Nautilus, if I go here, for example, I use the terminal to do that. Git rep notification. I get a few things already. So for example, I know that we have some notification handling on Nautilus application.c. So I go here and I put Nautilus uh, notification. This is search for files. application <laughs> yeah and here I can search for notification and here for example I have already a list of notifications and then I will read how it works like here this is with C but yeah basically how that's how you usually navigate on the code is searching for tests that may be related to the issue okay once you have that you just need to try to fix the code and that's, of course, the, the hardest. Well, not the hardest, because those are usually easy. Uh, but it still is uh, one of the challenges. So coming back to the newcomers guide. So yeah, you have chosen already a task. Once you, you think that that one is easy for you, uh, basically, yeah, you need to identify the problem, which is what we explained now. And to fix it, and to fix it, we have some debugging tools that might be useful for you as well. 
Um, Felipe, do you want to explain that? Yeah, sure. Now we are ready to try to fix the task that we have picked, okay? So now you will have the time and we'll be here just to help you try to fix something, search for the code. We are there for, for helping, okay? Cool. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye